Welcome to Grimbo TV and a new English episode about a brand new product from Pulsar that will only come out to the American market. Hi, welcome to the channel. This time in English again, as the product we're presenting, this is it, um, will only appear on the American market. Uh, as always, uh, you find infos about the product in the video description below and I'd be very happy if you subscribe to the channel. Every once in a while we get contributions in English, um, but also in other languages. And uh, well, it's mostly about gear and equipment, guns, calibers and night vision and thermal equipment. So back to the product. This is the Pulsar Trionics. It's a fusion device that combines the advantages of digital night vision with thermal. So you have the best of two worlds. You can easily recognize detail with a digital night vision, which is not that easy with thermal. You can switch to thermal to quickly identify and spot heat sources. But, and that is actually the gimmick here, you can combine the both. So you have, uh, Combine the two, I mean. <laughs> you have the digital night vision and you can basically put a thermal layer above it. So you have a crisp clear picture and if you add the thermal in the fusion mode, you have all the heat sources popping up in the picture. I'll show you how that looks um, when I film uh, a large you know, area where I usually go out hunting. Uh, first you get the original picture how it looks like filmed with a normal camera and then I'm going to show you how it looks like when you film it with this one which by the way has a built-in video recorder um, and uh, yeah you can get an impression. I'll also put in some pictures um, from my dog so that you can see the different modes when the heat source is in play uh, and also from game that I observed. Generally speaking I think this device is kind of neat um, because in the twilight uh, where many normal binoculars you know have a hard time um, to identify details such as antlers when you go out hunting with this you can easily do that uh, you can focus the night vision here which brings me to a slight disadvantage uh, and that is you cannot focus um, the thermal layer it's not that awful as it sounds because um, it has a very large area of sharpness. So I never really, you know, felt that was a disadvantage. Uh, I used the thermal to spot heat sources and then to identify either switch back to night vision or depending on which mode I had in, um, I could do it right away. So uh, yeah, you have to get used to it because it's kind of like, you know, both technologies and then um, you really have to find out which one makes sense. Uh, the device has a changeable uh, battery pack, which is a different system than, wait a second, um, which is a different system than the ones we know from Pulsar and the Helion or the Axions. Um, but it really is pretty strong. And when I was out hunting and, you know, it never let me down, no matter whether I was out three hours, five hours or six hours. Uh, of course, then when it was more than five hours, I turned on standby in between, um, but as I said, was never really a problem. Um, I'm going to uh, blend in some uh, technical data, which you say, uh, can see on the sheet here. Um, so this device offers you quite a powerful digital night vision uh, with infrared illuminator. Um, so even in the darkest night, you'll be able to, to see with this device. Uh, and uh, if you're uncertain uh, whether there is a heat source, a creature or whatever, or some evil person, uh, then you can turn out uh, the thermal and you'll see very clearly whether something, whatever, hides behind a bush or something. By the way, hiding behind a bush, um, this is the big advantage if you have digital night vision uh, in combination with thermal, especially when you're out hunting. Uh, because with thermal, you sometimes don't see obstacles between you and the target. Uh, with digital night vision, you will always see that. And that um, helps prevent those situations where bullets are deflected because obstacles haven't been visible. 
Um, yeah, I hope this little review of this brand new device, of which I don't even have prices yet because it's so brand new, uh, I hope that this little review helps you um, to kind of, you know, make up your mind, get an impression and uh, ask your local leader. Uh, they are probably able to show these to you and uh, yeah, test them out. I think it's a quite hefty device, uh, which is interesting to play with and uh, kind of, yeah, puts hunting and observation outside to the next level. And of course, it's not only suitable for hunting, but for nature observation or when you're out camping <clears throat> or when you're surveying kind of areas where you want to make sure that there is nothing hidden and leads to bad surprises. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be very happy if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That helps me getting new stuff for you guys, which I can present. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to see you here on the channel, hopefully soon again. Take care and yeah, bye-bye.